In this video, we'll spend a day in the woods with the Australian Defence Force Combat Ration, which turns out to be one of the best so far. So get your saliva glands ready. Since our last visit, the forest has completely transformed and greened. There are plenty of blueberry bushes around, which will soon please the forest dwellers with their berries. And we decided to arrange our breakfast on a stump nearby. To keep our knees dry, we used leaves of ferns and a foam pad from AliExpress. On the outside, the Australian ration looks rather modest, but trust me, inside are a lot of pleasant surprises. Inside a small bag, we find a spoon and it's really solid, thick and reliable. I would probably eat with such a spoon even at home. As usual, there's salt, tea and coffee, and behind them there's this strange metal tool with very sharp folding blade. You'll see what it's for later. I have no idea what these three rubber bands are for. If you have a clue, I'd be happy to read about it in the comments. Next we have Mentos here, two packets of three candies in each. Moreover, this Mentos is not regular, but with green tea extract. I hadn't tasted this one before, but it turned out to be very tasty. And this is a beautiful plastic tube of matches. There are two types of them, ordinary and stormproof. I think they can even burn underwater. For the main course, we have misli with huge pieces of fruit, or rather candied fruit. Thanks to you, I know what these are called now. Ok, let's try these quality Australian matches. Well, I guess they're not very good quality. We try a big match and it doesn't light either. And only with the help of our regular matchbox did it light up somehow. Many dry rations include dry crackers or cookies, but the Australians put a full-fledged little loaf of bread inside. It tastes and smells like regular bread, although it can be stored for several days. To make the bread tastier, we put this canned tuna on it, which looks like a bag of wet cat food. It tastes pretty good though. And then, for the first time, we find marmalade in an MRE pack, which comes out in little humps like these and is very sweet. And after that, a big tube of condensed milk. By the way, I know a person who can eat a whole can of condensed milk with bread in one go. I highly doubt that I can do that. Well, can you? But that's not all. Next up, there are two jam sandwiches that, by some miracle, didn't even break. Well, you can tell that the Aussies are treating their soldiers very well. But they go even further and we find this little tube of various kinds of vitamin B. This is yeast extract. It looks like a very thick Nutella, but it is very salty and not a very tasty substance of some kind. That's why it goes straight on the log to feed the ants. And even they are shocked by the smell of it. And do not hurry to eat such a gift. But the situation is saved by a sweet fruit bar with cereal and seeds. And you will not believe, but they also include a whole pack of M&Ms. It's amazing, I wish they served this in schools and colleges. Let's put the misli in a bowl and pour over it hot water. It has no milk in it though. While that's doing its thing, let's make some coffee. It turns out that they do include milk, but it's in a separate bag. In the end, there was enough milk for misli and coffee. Just look at the breakfast that the Australian rations offer us. It's very diverse, delicious and packed with calories. We leave some gifts for the forest dwellers and go on. On our way we come across a structure that rests against the tree and its purpose is not clear to us at all. It doesn't look like a hunting tower, because the hunter would be completely open and the animals would see him. Maybe it's just a very high chair. Well, write us in the comments what you think about it. 
By the way, you often ask us what kind of a knife we use because it does look very cool. It's a knife with aluminium body from Berker. You can unfold it by grabbing the special stoppers, or you can do it with one of your fingers by pulling the bump at the back of the blade. Or simply, with a sharp movement of the hand, the blade jumps out. It also folds easily, but if you hold the handle with your hand, the mechanism of the blade automatically locks and protects you from cutting your fingers. Lunch begins with pleasant surprise, namely this soft and fragrant lemon biscuit. It's a pity that the camera doesn't capture the smell, it is very fresh and very soft. You can wash it down with this powdered protein drink, which turns into a very delicious liquid with cacao flavor when mixed with water. The small bar of delicious chocolate is traditionally covered with white coating, but I still really like it. The ration manually says that the main dish can be heated without unsealing it. Just fold it up a little and place the packet directly into the water. While it's cooking, we open this packet of delicious milk caramels. How can one ration have so much cool stuff? And now when our bag of food has warmed up, we can take out the already hot main course. It turned out to be beans with chunks of meat in, and cheese and tomato sauce. Very tasty. But here, in addition to what we found, are instant mashed potatoes. We just pour hot water in, and the magic happens right before our eyes. The powder forms into thick potato mash with greens. We also have this dry steak in sweet sauce to go with the potatoes. It was a little tough to chew, but it tastes very good, especially when topped with ketchup. The biscuits, chocolate, candies and delicious main courses are what make this meal worthy of a very high praise. By the way, to wash the dishes, there was a sponge in the bag with strips of detergent applied. But we were afraid that it would scratch the coating of the pot, so we cleaned it the old way, by using ordinary moss without polluting the nature. In the forest, for some reason, there are a lot of conifers with these cuts on their bark. It turns out that many decades ago the locals made such incisions in order to collect resin, which flowed and gathered along these artificial ducts. In civilized countries nowadays, such mockery of trees is of course forbidden. For dinner, we'll use this huge moss-covered rock as a table. First of all, we get these biscuits. They are salty and slightly toasted. I absolutely love these. Next, we took out a big packet of mushroom soup. There is quite a lot of content, so the soup is moderately thick and nutritious, and it has croutons too. After that, we have the second course called Chicken Italiano. It was pasta with pieces of meat, but to make it even tastier, they added such a cheddar cheese in a can. This is where we need that metal tool from the beginning of the video. With its sharp hook, you can effortlessly open this can, inside of which everything is just filled with soft melted cheese. You can use the same tool to spread the cheese on the cracker, and we'll throw the rest of it into the main dish to melt the cheese there. The mashed fruit bar was very sweet and extremely tasty. While editing this video, it made me hungry once again. This little bag makes more than half a liter of isotonic drink, but we don't need that much, so we'll just make part of it. We end up with this green liquid packed with a lot of useful elements and minerals.
We load this hot sauce into the bowl of pasta and our dinner is ready. There's also still some condensed milk left over from the breakfast. Australian Defence Force combat ration turned out to be very good and most importantly tasty. Though we added a little too much of the hot sauce and the pasta was quite hard to eat. But we will leave what's left on the rock and maybe a squirrel or a bunny will enjoy the spicy dish.